गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन साई राम वेलकम बैक टू अवर मैथ्स क्लास लास्ट क्लास we saw subtraction in chapter number 4 subtraction subtraction of four digit numbers without borrowing right now today we are going to see subtraction of four digit numbers with borrowing what do you mean by borrowing i think you all have studied in your previous class isn't it children now let's take uh, can you subtract 2 from 8 2 minus 8 can you subtract 8 from 2 you cannot subtract right in that case what you have to do you have to borrow one from the previous whether it is hundreds or tens place we have to borrow we have to get something from the other right that is called borrowing right we are going to borrow to subtract the bigger number from the smaller one we cannot subtract that right so in that case we have to borrow now we'll see one example now borrowing subtract 4000 Six hundred eighty-seven from six thousand five hundred twenty-four. Shall we borrow? Shall we do the subtraction now? Now six thousand five hundred from. So this is the from this only we are going to subtract. So this is the minimum, the larger one. Six thousand five hundred twenty-four is the minimum. And what is the subtraction? Four thousand six hundred eighty-seven is the subtraction. Now let's subtract these two numbers. We are going to subtract six thousand five hundred twenty-four minus four thousand six hundred eighty-seven. While doing subtraction, what we have to do? First, we have to subtract the ones place, isn't it? Now let's subtract the ones place. Can we subtract seven from four? Yes. Is this possible? Four minus seven is possible? No. So what we have to do? So now we are going to borrow one from the tens place. Shall we borrow one from the tens place? Yes. Now we in, uh, in the tens place we have number two, right? So if I am borrowing, what my tens place will become? If I am giving one to the one other, what will happen? My one will be reduced, right? So this will become one. Tens place will become one, so I'm giving one tens to the. I'm giving one tens now, so I'm borrowing one tens. What is the meaning of one tens? Ten ones, right? So ten, ten ones. Already I'm having four ones, so ten ones plus four ones, fourteen ones. Yes. So now we are going to subtract. So if I'm giving one, this number will become fourteen ones place be, will become forty. Now shall we subtract seven from forty? So we are going to subtract forty minus seven. Now let's subtract fourteen minus seven. Now subtract this and tell me the answer. Now children, fourteen minus seven. Fourteen minus seven. Just we'll start from the subtract seven till you reach fourteen. Count forward till you reach fourteen. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. So fourteen minus seven is seven. So write it down. Seven ones. Fourteen ones minus seven ones is seven ones. Now let's move on to the tens place. Now, now understood what is borrowing? If you cannot subtract a bigger number from the smaller number, they will borrow, right? So now we let's move on to the tens place. So we are having one in the tens place because we have given one to the one tens to the uh, tens place one place, right? So now let's subtract the tens place. So now we are having one tens and eight tens. Can you subtract eight tens from one ten? One minus eight is possible. No, you cannot do so. Now again, I'm going to borrow one from the hundreds place. So if I'm getting one hundred, this number five. If I'm giving one, so I'll, I'll have only four hundred, right? So I'm giving one hundred to the tens place. What do you mean by one hundred? Ten tens makes one hundred, right? So ten tens plus uh, this one ten I'm having, right? So ten ten plus one ten. Eleven tens, so this will become eleven. I'm giving one to the tens place, right? That means ten tens plus one ten already. I'm having so eleven tens minus eight tens. Now subtract eleven minus eight and tell me the answer. Now we are going to subtract eleven minus eight. After eight, count. Start from number eight. Count forward till you reach eleven. After eight, nine. 
15, 11, so 3. 11 minus 8 is 3, write it down 3 tens. 11 tens minus 8 tens is 3 tens. Now let's move on to the hundreds place now. What number we have? Already we gave, uh, so before it was 5, so we gave 100, so it becomes 400, right? Now can you subtract 4 minus 6? Is this possible? No. So again I have to borrow 1 from the thousands place. Isn't it? What number we are having in the thousands place? 6. So if I am giving 1, this will become thousands place will become 5. Now I am giving 1000, right? What is means? 10 hundreds, right? 10 hundreds. So 10 hundred, this 400. So 14 hundred, so 14. So I am giving 1. So I am giving 1 to this, so 14 hundred. Minus 600. Subtract this 14 minus 6. Start from number 6. Count forward till you reach 40. After 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 800. 14 minus 6 is 800. So write 800. Now let's move on to the thousands place now. What number we have? 5 because we gave 1 to the we already gave 1, right? So, now what happens? 5. So, I give already 1. 5,000 will be there. So, now we are going to subtract 5 minus 4. Start from number 4. Count forward till you reach 5. After 4, 5. So, 1. 5 minus 4 is 1. So, what is the answer? 1,837. So, if you cannot subtract a bigger number of you cannot subtract a bigger number from smaller one, right? In that case, we have to borrow, right? That is borrowing. So, understood children? 6,524 minus 4,687. What is the answer? 1,837. Now, let's move on to the one more. No, exercise number 4.2. Subtract the numbers. Copy down in your notebook. Exercise number 4.2. First one, subtract the numbers. We are going to do subtraction, shall we? Now, first sum is 8053, 8053 minus 5694. We are going to subtract 8053 minus 5694. Shall we start to subtract now? Yes. Now, how will you subtract? We have to start from the 1's place, right? Now, let's subtract the 1's place. So, 3 minus 4. Is this possible? To subtract a bigger number from smaller one? No, 3 minus 4 is not possible. So, what we have to do? We have to borrow 1 from the 10's place, right? So, what number we are having in the 10's place? 5. So, if I am giving 1, so in 10's place, we will be having 4. So, because I am giving 1, my 1 will be reduced, right? So, if I am giving 1 tens, so what will be there in the tens place? 4. Now, I am giving 1 tens to the 1's place, right? What is the meaning? 1 tens means how many 1's we have? 10 1's. Already we are having 3 1's, right? 10 1's plus 3 1's, 13. 10 plus 3, 13. So, if I am giving 1 tens, what is the meaning? That means 10 1's plus already I am having 3 1's, right? So, 10 plus 3, 13 1's I'm, if I am having now. Now, we now will subtract this 13 minus 4. 13 minus 4. Now, let's subtract this. Start from number 4. Count forward till you reach 13. After 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, 9. 13 minus 4 is 9. Right? Now, write down how many ones we have? 9 ones. How many ones? 9 ones. Now, let's move on to the tens place. What number we are having in the tens place? Because already we gave 1, so we are having 4 tens. Right? Now, can we subtract 4 minus 9? Is that possible? 9 from 4 is possible? 4 minus 9 is not possible. What I should do now? Again, I have to borrow 1 from the hundreds place. Can you borrow from 0? Hundreds place, we have the number 0, right? Can you borrow from 0? No. So, what I should do now? Now, get 1 from this 1000. Yes? Now, if I am giving um, 
1000 to the hundreds please what will happen 10 hundreds right so this will become 10 my thousand place one will be reduced right so my thousands place will be 7 and my hundreds place will be 10 because if I am giving 1 that means 1000 means 10 hundreds right so 10 hundreds I am giving 10 now in this 10 I am going to give one more to the I am going to give 1 to the tens place shall we give 1 so now let's give 1 so from this 10 I am giving 1 to the I am already 4 is there, so I am giving 1. So, what is the meaning? 10, uh, sorry, 10, uh, 100 of I am giving means that is 10 tens, right? 10 tens plus 4 tens, 14 tens. If I am giving 1, this will become 40. And my uh, 100 space will be reduced 1, so 9. 10 minus 1 is 9. Now, let us subtract the tens place now. 14, we are going to subtract 14 minus 9. 14 minus 9 start from number 9 count forward till you reach 14 after 9 10 11 12 13 14 14 minus 9 is 5 how many tens 5 tens write it down 5 tens so now let's move on to the hundreds place now yes what number we are having in the hundreds place see 9 9 minus 6 we are going to subtract 9 minus 6 9 minus 6 start from number 6 count forward till you reach 9 after 6 7 8 9 so 3 9 minus 6 is 3 now let's move on to the thousands place now already we gave 1 right so this will become 7000 now 7000 minus 5000 7 minus 5 Start from number 5, count forward till you reach 7. After 5, 6, 7. So 2, the answer is 2,359. You subtract 5,694 from 8,053. The answer is 2,359. First we have to subtract the 1s. So 3 minus 4 is not possible. So I am getting 1 from the tens place. So this will become 13. 13 minus 4 is 9. Now tens place will become 4. Can you subtract 4 minus 9? No. So I am getting 1 from the hundreds place. Can you borrow from 0? That is also not possible. So what I am doing? First I am borrowing from the thousands place. So this will become hundreds place will become 10 now. From that 10 I am giving 1 to the tens place. So hundreds place will become 9 and tens place will become 14. 14 minus 9 is 5 and hundreds place 9 minus 6 3 and thousands place 7 minus 5 2. Next sum we are going to subtract 9813 minus 5726. Let us subtract these two numbers. Shall we subtract this? We are going to subtract 9813 minus 5726. Now what we have to do first? First we have to subtract the ones, right? 3 minus 6. Is this possible? Can you subtract the bigger number from the smaller one? No. So in that case what we have to do? 3 minus 6 is not possible. So we have to borrow 1 from the tens place, right? So already what number we am having? 1 in the tens place. So I am giving 1. So in the tens place if I am giving 1, what will happen? This will become tens place will become 0, right? Now if I am giving 1 tens, what is the meaning? 10 ones I am giving, right? So I am giving 1. 10 ones, already 3 ones. 10 plus 3, 13 ones. Already I am having 3 ones, right? So 10 ones plus 3 ones, 13. If I am giving 1 to the ones place, it becomes 13. Now shall we subtract 13 minus 6? Now start to subtract. Start from number 6. Count forward till you reach 13. After 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 7, 13 minus 6 is 7, 13 ones minus 6 ones is 7 ones. So write it down 7 ones, 7. Now let's subtract the tens place. What number we are having in the tens place? Tell me. 
zero because already we gave one to the tens place, right? So now zero we are having. Can you subtract zero minus two? That is not possible, right? So I'm going to borrow one from the hundreds place. I'm going to borrow. So this will become my hundreds place will become seven, and my tens place will become one hundred. Meaning is ten tens, right? So ten. So ten minus two. With this ten, I'm going to subtract two. Ten minus two. Ten minus two. Start from number two. Count forward till you reach ten. After two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten minus two is eight. Or else, ten. I'm going to subtract two. One, two. So eight. Now eight tens. Now let's move on to the hundreds place. So what number I'm having in the hundreds place? Because I already gave one hundred to the tens place, right? So I'm having only seven hundred now. Now I'm going to subtract seven minus five. What is the answer? Seven minus sub seven. When you subtract a number from itself, the answer is zero. So seven minus seven is zero. Now let's subtract the thousands place now. Nine minus five. Start from five. Count forward till you reach nine. After five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sorry, after five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine minus five is four. So the answer is four thousand eighty-seven. What is the answer? Four thousand eighty-seven. When you subtract five thousand seven hundred twenty-six from nine thousand eight hundred thirteen, the answer is four thousand eighty-seven. First, you have to subtract the ones. So three minus six is not possible. So I'm getting one from the tens place. So my ones place will become. Thirteen now, so my tens place will become zero. So thirteen minus six is thirteen ones. Minus six ones is seven ones. So I did done seven. Now can you subtract zero minus two? Not possible. So I'm getting one from the hundreds place. So tens place will become ten. Ten minus two is eight. My hundreds place will become seven. Right. So I've given one to the tens place. So seven minus seven, zero. At last thousands place nine minus five four. Let's move on to the next sum. We are going to subtract seven thousand four hundred twenty-six minus six thousand six hundred fifty-nine. Shall we start to subtract this now? We are going to subtract six thousand six hundred fifty-nine from which number? Seven thousand four hundred twenty-six. Shall we start to subtract this now? Yes. First, we have to start with our ones place, isn't it? So six minus nine is this possible? Six minus nine is this possible? No. So I'm going to borrow from the tens place. What a number I'm having in the tens place? Two. So if I'm borrowing one, my tens place will become one, right? My tens place will become one, and my ones place will become if I'm giving one, sixteen. What is the meaning? I'm giving one tens. What is that? Ten ones is zero. So already six ones is zero. Ten plus six, sixteen ones. If I'm giving one, my ones place will become sixteen. Now we're going to subtract sixteen minus nine. Shall we start to subtract this? Yes. Now start from number nine. Count forward till you reach sixteen. After nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven. Sixteen minus nine is sixteen ones. Minus nine ones is seven ones. Write it down. Seven. Now let's move on to the tens place. Now let's subtract the tens place. What number I'm having in the tens place? One. Right. Because I gave this one to the ten ones place. Right. So I'm having number one. One minus five is possible. No. Again, I'm going to borrow one from the hundreds place. Now what number I'm having in the hundreds place? Four. If I'm giving one, if I'm going to borrow one from the uh, hundreds place, my hundreds place will become three now, right? I'm giving one, so my hundreds place will become three. My tens place. If I'm giving one, what is the meaning? I'm giving one hundred. That means 
10 tens. 10 tens plus 1 ten, 11 tens. So 11 tens minus 5 tens. Shall we subtract this? 11 minus 5. 11 minus 5. Start from 5. Count forward till you reach 11. After 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 tens minus 5 tens is 6 tens. So write it down. 11 minus 5 is 6. Now let's move on to the hundreds place. What number I'm having? Because I already gave 1 to the tens place. My number is 3. 3 minus 6 is possible. Can you subtract the bigger one from the smaller one? No, I'm going to borrow from one from the thousands place. So this will become thousands place will become 6. If I'm giving one, what will happen? This will become 13 because 1000 is 10 hundred plus 300. Already I'm having 300. So 13 hundred. 13 hundred minus 600. So I'm going to subtract 13 minus 6 now. Start from number 6. Count forward till you reach 13. After 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 7. 13 minus 6 is 7. So what number I'm having? The, now let's move on to the thousands place now. So what number I'm having? 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. So no need to put 0 in the front. So my answer is 767. When you subtract 7426 minus 6659. The answer is 767. What we have to do? First we have to subtract the ones. 6 minus 9 is not possible. So I'm borrowing 1 from the tens place. So it will become 16. 16 minus 9 is 7. So this will become tens place will become 1. 1 minus 5 is not possible. So I'm getting 1 from the hundreds place. So 11. 11 minus 5 is 6. So my hundreds place will become 3 now. Can you subtract 3 minus 6? No. I'm getting 1 from thousands place. So my hundreds is 1300 plus 600 minus 600. Answer is 7. So 767. Now find the difference between 6872 and 3214. Now tell me what do you mean by difference? Subtraction. Yes, the answer we get right while subtracting. The answer we'll get right. That is called difference, right? So what do you have to do? Difference means we are going to do subtract these two numbers. Yes. What do you mean by difference? We are going to subtract these two numbers. Shall we subtract? Now write the numbers in their exact places. Take the first number 6872. Because minuend, the 6872 is a minuend. Write down above 2 in the 1's place, 7 in the 10's place, 8 in the 100's place, 6 in the 1000's place. Now take the second number 3214. 4 in the 1's place. 1 in the tens place, 2 in the hundreds place and 3 in the thousands place. Let's subtract these two numbers now. So we have to start from the ones place, isn't it? Can you subtract 2 minus 4? It is not possible, right? right? So I am going to borrow 1. If I am borrowing this number, if I am giving 1, my tens place 1 will be reduced, right? So my tens place will become 6. So if I'm giving 1, what will happen? This will become 12. What is the meaning? I'm giving 1 tens, right? So 10 ones. So 10 ones plus 2 ones, 12 ones. So 12 minus 4, 12 ones minus 4 ones. I practice and tell me the answer now. Start from number 4, count forward till you reach 12. After 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we start from 4, count forward till you reach 12. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 8, 12 minus 4 is 8. Write it down. 12 ones minus 4 ones is 8 ones. Now let's move on to the tens place. Now what number I'm having in the tens place? 6. Right, 6. I already gave 1 to the ones place. Right, so 6, 6 minus 1. Start from number 1, count forward till you reach 6. After 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 minus 1 is 5. Write it down, 5 tens. 6 tens minus 1 ten is 5 tens. Now let's subtract the hundreds place now. 8 minus 2. Eight. 
8 minus 2. 2. Start from number 2. Count forward till you reach 8. After 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 minus 2 is 6. 600. 800 minus 200 is 600. Now, let's move on to the thousands place now. 6,000 minus 3,000. 6 minus 3. Start from the minimum. Uh, sorry, start from the upper hand. Count forward till you reach the minimum. 3 after 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 minus 3 is 3,000. So, write it down 3,000. So, when you subtract 6,872 minus 3,240, the answer is 3,658. Now, let's move on to the next sum. Subtract the following. We are going to subtract the two numbers. 3,988 from 5,666. Let's subtract these two numbers. What is the meaning of from? From this number you are going to subtract, right? The number from which we are going to subtract, that is the minimum, right? That we are going to, we have to write at the top. So, 5,666 is the minimum. And 3,988 is the subtract. Write the numbers in their exact places now. 6 in the, take the minimum, 5666, 6, 6, 5,666, 6 in the 1's place, 6 in the 10's place, 6 in the 100's place and 5 in the 1000's place. Now take the second number, 3988, 8 in the 1's place, 8 in the 10's place. 8 and 9 in the hundreds place and 3 in the thousands place. Now let's subtract these two numbers now. Shall we subtract these two numbers now? Yes. Now we are going to subtract 3988 from 5666, isn't it? Now let's subtract the ones place now. 6 minus 8, is this possible? Can you subtract the bigger number from smaller one? No. So in that case, I'm going to borrow one. So if I'm borrowing one, my... Tens place will become 5. Already I am having 6. So my tens place will become 5. So from borrowing 1, my 1's place will become 16. That means I am giving 1 tens, right? That means 10 1's. Already I am having 6 1's. 10 1's plus 6 1's. 16 1's. So I am going to subtract 16 minus 8. Now start from number 8. Count forward till you reach 16. After 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 8. 16 minus 8 is 8. 16 ones minus 8 ones is 8 ones. Now let's move on to the tens place now. What number I'm having in the tens place? 5 because I already gave 1 right. So 5. So 5 minus 8 is possible? Is this possible? No, you cannot subtract. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to borrow 1 from the hundreds place. If I'm borrowing 1... My hundreds place, already I am having the number 6. If I am giving 1, what will happen? My hundreds place will become 5. If I am giving 1, I am going to borrow 1 from this hundreds place, right? So, my tens place will become 15. I am giving 100, that means 10 tens. 10 tens plus 5 tens, 15 tens. 15 minus 8. Start from number 8, count forward till you reach 15. After 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 7, 15 minus 8 is 7 tenths, 15 tenths minus 8 tenths is 7 tenths, write it down, 7 tenths, now let's move on to the hundreds place, now what number am I having, 5, so can you subtract 5 minus 9, 500 minus 900 is not possible, so I'm going to borrow from the thousands place, so my thousands place will become 4, my hundred, I mean, so, I am giving 1000, right? So, that means 1, 10 hundreds plus 500, 1500. So, 1500 minus 900, 15 minus 9. Start from number 9, count forward till you reach 15. After 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, 15 minus 9 is 6. 600. Now, let's move on to the thousands place. What number am I having? 4. 4 minus 3. After 3, I am going to count forward till 
you reach four. Count forward till you reach four. After three, four. So one four minus three is one. So now when you subtract three thousand nine hundred eighty-eight from five thousand six hundred sixty-six, the answer is one thousand six hundred ninety seventy-eight. What you have to do first, we have to subtract the ones place. Six minus eight is not possible, so I'm going to borrow one from the tens place. So sixteen minus eight, so eight. Now my tens place will become five. Now five minus next, I'm going to subtract the tens place. Five minus eight, not possible. So I'm going to borrow one from the hundreds place. So fifteen minus eight, so seven. My hundreds place will become five now. Now let's subtract the hundreds place. Five minus nine is also not possible. So I'm going to borrow one from the thousands place. So my hundreds place will become fifteen. Fifteen minus nine is six. Write it down six hundred. Now thousands place four minus three is one. Now practice well all the sums. Practice the sums in your notebook, children. So revise all the sums. So now today we have seen uh, subtraction with borrowing. Right? Practice well all the sums. See you in the next class. Thank you.